Yeah, I kind of didn't vlog every day last week like I was supposed to, but I just didn't know because I didn't watch any of the videos since Tuesday. And since then I've not been able to get in touch with any of you, so I might start today and do it until next Thursday if I don't get a different one for not doing that one. This video is kind of talking about what Jasmine was talking about in her video. By the way, I wish I could write like Jasmine. That was... I couldn't even understand half the words that was in that thing that you wrote. That was really good. See, that's the thing about hope. Hope is very close to motivation. So, without hope, then I guess you aren't really motivated to do anything. Say, if you wanted to fight for something that you believed in, if you had hope that you could fight for it, then you could. But if you just thought, oh, there's no hope, then nothing would ever get done, really. And I guess some of the best people out there like the people who have accomplished most, they've had hope, and they did alright for themselves. Without hope, you can't stick up for things what you believe in, and if you can't stand up for what you think's right, then that's just adding to the pile of bad things in everyone's life instead of the good things. Doctor Who references make me sound insightful. But then on the other hand you have false hope, where if you're hoping for something unreasonable and something that's never going to happen, then that's the bad kind of hope. And that kind of hope doesn't allow you to move on from the bad things. Because if you hope that it's all just going to go away, then it won't. But if you can accept that, some, that whatever has happened has happened, then that's the first step to forgetting about it and moving on, I guess. Hope's one of them complex emotions, if we can call it an emotion. I guess it's more of a state of mind. But anyway, happiness and sadness can just come naturally, like, without you forcing it. But hope, sometimes you have to fight for it and fight for you to feel it. Again, with the whole motivation hope thing. And that's quite fascinating, really. How you can tell yourself to have hope. That's just, oh, that's cool. I've always wanted to be the person who gives people hope or can help towards the increasing of hope and awesome in the world. I've always wanted to be that person who can do things and change things. I guess most people do, but, you know, don't know whether that will happen or not. Hope you enjoyed yet another video of me rambling on about nothing in particular. So, yeah. Bye!